Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to part six of this all new GyroFlow video series. GyroFlow put out a new release, version 1.0.0, and man, this software is awesome. In this video series, we've explored using this as a replacement for Real Steady Go for your GoPro footage. We've also stabilized DVR footage, Insta360 footage, and uh, footage from a cell phone. So, uh, yeah, I know the run cams are a very popular option for a lot of FPV pilots, so we're going to go and see what the workflow is like, so let's dive right in. Okay, so what is GyroFlow? It's an advanced, open-source, gyro-assisted video stabilization for cinematography, drone video, and much more. GyroFlow has been around since 2020, but the all new version is so much easier to use and it's not fiddly. It's really awesome. Right out of the box, you install it, you can start using it right now. This software is packed with a ton of features. It has more features than Real Steady Go, and it works with almost any camera and gyro combination. So you can use it with your cinema camera. You could use it with your GoPro. You can use it with a run cam. You can use it with your Sony camera. You can use it with almost anything that has gyro data or you can add gyro data and match it with any camera. So like I said, this is a multi-part video series. You're watching part number six, all about the Run Cam 5 Orange. I did soft mount this camera on a piece of foam. Uh, I had it hard mounted and I was getting jello. I think that's kind of inherent to this camera if it's hard mounted. So I did soft mount it to get the best results. All right, so let's go ahead and import our footage off of our SD card. And this is the flight here. The lens profile, we need to go ahead and select. Let's type in orange and you can see there's a 4k setting here which is what I use so we're gonna go ahead and select that and it matched it then we're gonna go ahead and pull in the gyro data off of the SD card from that flight and let's go ahead and auto sync since they should be right on top of each other let's just go ahead and do this real quick so I'll set an endpoint here so this is my last settings I had there stabilize to the max on a uh, three axis dampening. Um, there's plain 3D, which is a similar uh, velocity dampening, which kind of takes the edge off and the dampening, uh, which will take the uh, each axis you can customize. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Um, in the smoothing window, you can say, you know, how far it's looking uh, to smooth. So let's kind of go in the middle there. And uh, I'm not gonna do any sort of uh, low pass filtering or anything on this uh, pre or post um, I did mount on a soft mount um, on a piece of foam so I'm gonna see if that's gonna improve the run run cam footage at all just by doing that take out some of the little bumps in jello so let's see here and you can see the points there where it's marked for stabilization and yeah this is already looking really nice uh, you can see if you zoom out with the field of view you can see what the full resolution looks like stretched to the lens profile and you can see that it's shifting and and bumping to uh, match what's happening there so that's good so we're gonna set the field of view back to one uh, you can also change the cropping you can say that there's no cropping at all but you may get the uh, the bars come in on the side uh, static crop same thing you can just set a Static say hey always stay at this particular crop level um, I'm gonna set the field of view back to one and we're gonna go with dynamic cropping um, That's kind of similar to what's happening with like real steady go uh, This is dynamic cropping. So we're gonna go ahead and save that You can also see what it looks like with no smoothing just the lens distortion profile You can see there's lots of little bumps and jitters and ups and downs. So let's go ahead and turn that back on And now it's nice and smooth uh, I do notice there are still a few little bumps here and there uh, in the footage. It's not perfect by any means. Uh, we could probably do some stuff with the low pass filtering, uh, with the way it's mounted. Um, you know, I could make some other adjustments to kind of smooth things out. I don't think it's going to end up being perfect by any means, but uh, man, that's a huge improvement. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set an out point here too. Let's go ahead and set it here. And uh, I'm just going to export this whole thing. So here we go. So this is what the final footage ends up looking like. I think it did a really great job on this run cam footage. 
definitely, uh, there are still a few little bumps. Um, you can see here when I get close to the ground, there's like a ground effect right there. It kind of bobbles a little bit. It's not perfect. Probably tune it out through some settings. I did play with the low pass filter on and off. Didn't seem to make much of a difference. Of course, you know, the drone you're flying could make all the difference in the world too, but wow, this really is so much better than it looked in the beginning. I am really impressed with this. I mean, you're talking about a $100 action camera and you're getting some really great footage out of it. I'm going to have an upcoming video about how to get the best quality out of the Runcam 5, the orange, uh, get to get cinematic footage, stabilize it, color grade, the whole deal. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And as a reference, this is some of the original footage. Uh, you can see that it is, you know, really bobbly and it's got these little movements that need to be ironed out and cleaned up. So yeah, I think Gyroflow did a pretty good job of uh, cleaning this up. And here's the side-by-side -side footage again. If you guys are using Gyroflow or plan on using Gyroflow and you do enjoy it, um, I would highly recommend that you uh, make a donation to the developers. They are doing a wonderful job with this. It's open source, it's free. They're building other projects on top of it. So yeah, if you can donate, uh, please consider it. If you enjoy my content, please uh, drop a like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to the channel. And we will see you in the next one.